All right, guys, what's up? This is Colin Morris and Scummy. Um, this is kind of a personal interview. I just wanted to throw out to you guys, not really censored or anything. Pretty much anyone out there, you know, struggling with, uh, you know, problems in your life, addiction, drugs, alcohol. If you guys know from uh, my past, anyone really been following my career, past couple years of my life really uh, took a turn for the worse, you know. Being in the metal militia, bottom line, let's start off by this, you know. I've always wanted to become a pro dirt bike rider since I was a kid, you know. I've been raised in a, a nice neighborhood, good family, and all I wanted to do since I was a kid was ride ride motocross and be professional, and uh, I lived a really good childhood, bottom line, and um, you know, every dream I looked up to, I accomplished everything, you know. I became a... Uh, a pro dirt bike rider at age 17, traveling the world, doing my dreams. And you know, I think everything happened so fast. You know, got into the metal militia. And as you guys know, I'm one of the original guys in the metal militia, but back then, freestyle wasn't, it wasn't what it's like today. You know, it was straight, you know, Motley crew. Who can get the most wasted? Who can mess the most things up? And uh, I loved every minute of that, you know? A lot of guys, everybody else, all my other boys really, you know, kind of snapped out of that whole lifestyle and cleaned their life up. And, you know, for me, you know, I, I didn't really realize I was addicted to, you know, drugs and all that stuff. But the whole lifestyle pretty much sucked me in. And, um, you know, as the years went by, I realized all my buddies kind of snapped out of it. And like I said, they got their lives together, but I uh, pretty much stayed in that same path and... You know, the whole backflip thing came along. Everyone's, you know, why are you doing backflips? And, you know, I just, I, I've done a backflip in a foam pit, but I didn't really see much future in that. It was just bottom line too gnarly. I seen a lot of guys die and get paralyzed in front of me. And I just didn't want to go that route. You know, you guys know I like hitting the fifth gear jumps, but once again, there's no money in that. And, uh, you know, I can go on forever about this, I guess. But bottom line, let's just go like past couple years. It got really bad, all right? I, uh, I've been taking pills, man, it's sad, you know, 10 years, pills, you know, coke, meth, you know, everything, guys, and, uh, you know, the shit, shit's real out there, I got into, uh, you know, oxys, heroin, and pretty much about a year ago, I didn't even want to live anymore, I, you know, it's sad to say, and bottom line, you guys, I'm not embarrassed to tell you guys, my story. I can go on and on about this, but it got bad. I want to commit suicide. I really didn't have a future out there. I wanted to end it all. You know, my, my rock bottom, I've had a lot of rock bottoms. My rock bottom, I did a lot of drugs one day, passed out in my truck. My foot was on the gas pedal. I ran into seven cars, head on into a semi. And that day was the best day of my life. You know, thank God I did not kill anybody. That's another thing. I really know I got someone looking out after me after that day, but um, everything changed that day. I should have killed myself. My airbag didn't go out. A lot of weird things happened that day where it was meant to be. I didn't kill anyone that day. You know, I went to jail in that, in that time of my life. I've never been so happy to be in jail because, you know, I was kind of a menace to society. You know, what am I doing? I'm a pro dirt bike rider. Kids look up to me, but I want to kill myself, you know? so. My life wasn't going in the right direction at all. And after that, I went to rehab. You know, it was the best thing in my life. I, I blew so many chances in my career, and that's what this kind of message is about, that you, can, you guys can do whatever you want. You, got, you can get whatever you want, but sometimes this shit happens too fast and you don't realize what you have until it's too late. And that's kind of my story. I blew my whole career pretty much from drugs and uh, burnt every bridge I could lost everything, tried to commit suicide, and then that led me to rehab, which that's kind of what the point of this story is saying for anyone out there, like, look at me. I went to rehab, changed my whole life around. You know, I'm, I'm a little over nine months sober right now. I got out, I changed my whole life. I finally have a clear vision of what I, all the destruction I caused in the past, everyone I hurt, all the chances I blew, all my good friends, my boys in the militia that tried to help me, and I blew everybody away. And uh, you know, I got out of rehab. I found an angel in my life. My girlfriend, she's really been Ashley. She's 100% understands everything. 
And uh, you know, who would have thought I got my own company now, Scumbag Clothing, which I have wanted to do this for years, but I was in the right state of mind to do this, you know? And now I got my company that's keeping me busy. It's doing good now. You know, I'm telling the world, like right now, what my life was like and what it is now. And that I hope anyone out there that's dealing with issues, like I said, probably three times in this interview, I'm, I'm freestyling this, you guys, so it is what it is, but you guys can change your life. My life is good right now. I got everything back. I finally had the love of dirt bikes. What I started, it's like a full circle. Wanted to become a dirt bike rider, became a pro dirt bike rider, fell in the lifestyle, got addicted to the lifestyle, messed everything up, lost everything, went to rehab, changed my life, got sober, started a clothing company, never been this happy. I feel like I'm 12 years old looking at a dirt bike with a smile on my face. Like that's what I want to, want to do and that's, you know, how do you do this wanting to, wanting to end it all when you're a pro dirt bike rider? You got people that look up to you, you know, but it can happen to anyone out there. And, you know, I'm blessed. Everything's happening in my life right now for the good. And uh, pretty much if I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have some more like in-depth videos and some more videos of me riding. Like pretty much I'm making a comeback here showing you guys you can hit rock bottom. You can, you can destroy, get in trouble, go to jail, suicide, addiction, anything. But if you guys can overpower it, and uh, that's kind of my story. I'm going on and on right now. But anyways, stay tuned. We got some more hot videos coming up, some riding shit. And uh, go check out my clothing company, scumbag.com. You know, it's doing really good. And, uh, you know, thank you guys, all my fans, all the people that our supporters, the haters, the lovers, you know, it is what it is. I'm a real dude telling you guys what it is and, uh, you know, trying to make a comeback here and uh, just enjoying life. So thank you guys, scumbag.com, and uh, stay tuned, all right?